again, it's Sarah, and it's Spirited Saturday, like, you know, the spirit fingers that you get on a cheerleading movie, yeah. Um, yeah, so, and Aline is back, which is very, very exciting, and I'm so excited about that, and yeah. So the, the topic that we were going to cover today was basically long self-image and body image and how they're linked, and, uh, the person who posed it said, I, I feel so fat and ugly, I, I just can't imagine loving my body or loving me, and how do I go about doing that? Um, microphone's off in between the boobs here. Um, okay, so, how do you go about doing that? Um, first of all, I hear you, and it's very, very common for people with eating disorders to feel that way. And, um, you almost feel like you don't belong in your skin, but that you don't belong in anyone else's either. Anyway, before I get, like, all on another tangent, um, how do you deal with that? There, you know, there are, first of all, changing your body is not the answer at all, which I'm sure you figured out if you're in recovery from eating disorders, but yes. Changing your body is the wrong answer, no matter where you're going, if it's anywhere successful, where you've been, where you're stuck, da, 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 whatever, changing your body is not the answer. Um, it, it won't get you anywhere. Uh, and I have learned that the hard way, and I've learned that over and over again, and I have gotten to a point where my eating disorder is no longer about my body in a way that I want to change it so that I love it more. It's not about that at all. Um, but, you know, so changing your body is definitely the wrong way of over doing things. Um, basically, you learn to love your body very slowly. Very, 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 very slowly. And I like the eating disorder, there's ups and downs with that. And um, I have been at a point where I really did love my body. And uh, I'm not anymore, um, all the time, but I was at that point. And it's, it's, it's wonderful, and it's definitely, it's, it's possible. So that, if that's a goal that you have, congratulate yourself, because that's a really, really amazing goal. And not everybody gets there. Like, not even just eating disorder people, a lot of people don't ever get there. Um, yeah, so, changing your body is not the answer, but changing yourself can be. You know, yourself, if you love yourself, you'll at least be able to tolerate your body. Um, you know, you'll be able to look at the, the body that you see in the mirror and be like, okay, well, I respect her. I respect that person, um, and therefore, yeah, not my favorite body in the world, but you know what? It's okay. It's, it's alright. It's, it's her home, and, um, that's the way that she chooses as a healthy, whole human being to look. Um, even though you don't actually technically choose, that's, that's what you've chosen, is to be healthy, whole, vibrant, radiant, and I'm going to respect that, um, you know, and then eventually you get to the point where you love your body because it does absolutely wonderful, amazing things. It breathes, it laughs, it sings, it jumps, it, you know, it runs, it, it does so many amazing things that are, that we can't, we haven't figured out yet as human beings. We haven't figured out how to, to do that with machines. And so that's something that really we need to respect our bodies for too. Um, and so yeah, we can get we get to the point where you don't necessarily love your body for the way that it looks or the way that it measures or that it's you know this number of pounds or this number of kilograms or that number of inches or whatever. But you love it based on a value statement. It makes me feel good. It makes me achieve other things that I want. It helps me do this, you know, it sleeps soundly at night, it wards off really bad infections, you know, that would kill me if it wasn't there. 
there are so many things that you can appreciate about your body that are really, in the grand scheme of things, so much more important than how it measures or how it lays or how it looks. Um, and eventually you get to that point, but you can't get to that point if you don't respect and love the person inside first. It just doesn't work that way usually. It, well, always. Um, it doesn't work that way. Um, you, you will only get to that point if you accept who you are and if you love and respect who you are. Um, and, you know, the best things in our world are not measurable. And that's the way it needs to stay. The best things in our world are, you know, just, they're intuitive, they're, you know, you can feel them, but you can't measure them. Um, so, you know, when your body says, oh, I feel really great this morning, or I, you know, I love the, the feel of the sun on my skin, or something like that, you know, and there's no numbers involved, and you can really appreciate that and love that. But that's when you're there. You know, you will never, I, I doubt you will ever, ever, ever get to a point where you will get on a scale and be like, wow, I really like that number. But you will get to a point where it doesn't matter anymore. And that's even better. If you want my opinion on it. It's even better. Um, so yeah, but you definitely have to work on the inside first. It is truly beauty with it. If you love and you care about it, the person on the inside, and then that is sort of exhibited on the outside. Um, you know, you there. I'm a true believer that you show people how to treat you, and that um, there's a quote that goes, you know, love yourself before no one else can. And you know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of truth to that. Um, not necessarily on face value because, you know, nobody deserves to be hurt, nobody deserves to be abused or anything like that, but ultimately, when it comes to us, we need people in the relationships we have with them. Um, and yeah, so if you love yourself and you love who you are, then your body won't matter. Uh, and if it's functional and healthy and well, then that's what will matter. Um, yeah, uh, you know, there can be a point where if you get to a point where you are, um, you really do love yourself and you think that your body does need to change, uh, you know, that can be a very healthy thing. Um, if you've decided that the way your body is changing is for you as a person. If you've decided that the way your body is changing is for you, you know, makes you feel good, it makes you have more energy, it makes you, you know, um, I want to be careful when I say this, but more confident, you know, uh, that doesn't mean losing weight necessarily. That means, you know, you're comfortable with who you are. And sometimes that can mean a physical change of the body, but that comes after everything else. You have to love yourself before you do that. And the way that you know you're at that point where you can change your body for you and not for anyone else or for your eating disorder is that it'll happen easily. Um, when you do it for yourself, it'll happen easily. And when you do it for your eating disorder, it's absolute torture and torment, as I'm sure you figured out. Um, yeah, so the rest of it. How do you go about loving yourself? Um, well, a lot of therapists and like you sort of groups would be like, well, you have to love yourself. You have to love everything you are and not everything you're not. And you know, that's great wisdom, and I'm sure it's a good, you know, they don't have eating disorders. They really don't. Um, and they, they don't understand that you can truly be at a point where you don't think you have anything. You don't have anything there to love, or you don't know what to love, or you don't know if you can love, and, you know, you get to that point where you're just like, oh my god, this is so confusing, and I definitely felt like that was me for a very long time, um, and that, what I did, basically, was I put sort of a person together that I really could respect. And, you know, she had a good sense of humor, she was determined and driven, she was very respectful of herself, of her others, of her body, um, 
you know, she was carefree, she was loving, she was honest, she had integrity, you know, and I, so I would look around me through a lot of observation and be like, you know what, I like that character trait. I'm going to try my best to adopt that. Um, or I like that attribute. And that's something that when people think of that word or that attribute, I want them to think of me and achievements and that kind of thing. And so, you know, it sounds absolutely psychotic and, you know, some people